There's also this issue about illegals. You know, we've got, what, 10 to 11 million illegals uh, having come into this country on Joe Biden's watch. And there's this push to get them driver's licenses. I mean, if you if you get if you have a driver's license and you're an illegal immigrant uh, in this country, can they harvest those ballots in any way going into this election? Are you worried about that? I mean, obviously, the Republicans have been taking a stand on this. The RNC says that they're going to have more observers and ensure that illegals are not voting. Obviously, it's against the law. But there have been a fair amount of uh, questions uh, about this and, and and worries going into the election. What do you think? Well, it's almost impossible. To, it's almost impossible under the law to stop them. I mean, it, it relies on the honor system when you register to vote. Uh, the um, the Democrat control administration is knowingly offering the opportunity to vote uh, to these illegal migrants. But, you know, people should just think about this as a numbers game. What do we have, 40 million non-citizens here in the United States? How many of them are eligible to vote in terms of being over the age of 18? A certain number of them are going to register to vote. And a certain number of them are going to vote. Indeed, if you're registered to vote, even a voter ID isn't going to stop you from voting because many aliens, both illegal and legal, have the necessary documents to uh, show their ID in order to vote. Uh, So the more people you have here who are non-citizens, because we have virtually no effective checks in place, the increased likelihood of them voting. And a major study showed about 80 percent of aliens who vote tend to vote Democrat. And, and when you say 40 million, that number includes people who have been here already, right? I mean, you, right. I mean, you Joe have Biden's non-citizens watch, present million, who, who've been, right. You have a huge foreign born population yeah. who aren't citizens present in the United States. Yeah, sure, sure. And, and of course, they're going to be voting in, in numbers large enough to affect the election. Yeah. And of course, this was your vote that's negated. It's just one illegal vote that's enough to really make, you know, violate someone's yeah. civil rights and, in many ways. And by the way, the, the issue on, on no voter ID, Merrick Garland has been very clear. He says he's going to vow to stop any voter ID. And it's really a state by state thing because, you know, in Arizona, for example, we've got strict non photo ID, no, no photo ID. But then, you know, in a place like um, in North Carolina, you've got a strict photo ID, uh, Michigan photo ID requested, no document required to vote in Nevada. So it depends on the state you're talking about in terms of having a voter ID. In New York, my girlfriend went to vote last election and she said, here's my ID. They said, put it away, put it away. You know, we don't, we don't want your ID. Right, right. So, well, and they, and, and the left does want them to vote. I mean, they want them to vote in local elections. Here in D.C., Judicial Watch just uncovered you have 563 aliens registered to vote in local elections. So foreign nationals are voting for mayor effectively here. Unbelievable.